I'm sitting. So many of you want me to record videos where I'm sitting. I'm sitting at the moment. We're gonna get up a little bit here in a minute. I've got tons of baby stuff and baby stuff over there. Baby stuff, baby stuff everywhere, yay! I told you all several videos back, but you stick with me and I appreciate that. I was gonna get everything up here together and show you all the stuff that we have got for baby number nine, Mr. Tobin Josiah, which as of this filming date, I'm filming this on February 6th. We've got about six weeks or so left until he makes his appearance because I'm 34 weeks today. Yay. So tons of stuff, lots of things. Of course, the big question is, especially having a lot of kids over 20 years now, my husband and I, we will have our 23rd anniversary coming up in July and our oldest son is marching towards 21. So, you know, the beat goes on, man, right? Just like the song. Anyway, we have, of course, saved many things over the years. Very, very cute. Let me show you this. See this little camouflage? What size is this? It's a 2T. All of my kids, boys and girls, have worn this since Zion. <laughs> since Zion was a baby. Zion is almost 18. So this has been in the family a long time and I can never get myself to pass it on because it's just, it's a nice fleece jacket. It's in good shape. I have, yeah, I have a few little things here in front of me, but many times I will hold on to things for a few babies, of course, hold on to a few precious pieces, but then I pass them on to those who need them, who come just, I meet along the way. I know last time I had all the fresh baby clothes from Daniel, baby number seven, and all the fresh baby clothes from Benjamin, baby number eight. When Benjamin got to be about a year, year and a half or so, our local pregnancy center was very down on donations for boys. They desperately needed boy stuff, and I'm like, it is not gonna do me any good to have six totes full of boys stuff when there are mamas who need them now. So we packed them all up and we donated them at that time. And so with Tobin, I am starting fresh again. Now I do have a lot of Benjamin and Daniel stuff from size 3T and up, but for you know newborn to 3T type sizes, I am getting fresh four. Really, I'm just focusing on, I never get too many newborn type things because my babies like my babies 20 years ago were eight pounds now my babies are like 10 pounds so we don't fit in like traditional newborn sizes for too long except this is something both daniel and benny were in and this is a newborn size so it's a, just a cute little brother so i think i've got a few little newborn pieces so not a ton of hand-me-down type stuff. And hand-me-downs in general, excuse me, follow me down this rabbit trail, usually hand-me-downs in general can make it through a few kids. By the time you get to the third or fourth kid in certain sets of hand-me-downs, it's just time for those to go be with Jesus, like I say, and to get some fresh stuff. So anyway, and my girls in particular don't match up because there's six years in between them. And then like now with Tobin, by the time he gets to the 3T, 4T, you know, these other sizes that Daniel and Benjamin have worn, he'll still need fresh stuff. Anyway, let's look at all these goodies. Thank you to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. For 50% off your first order, go to takecareof.com and enter special promo code JMORELL50. And see, I knew it would be a question that comes up. Just got this because I shared a picture of me working to do this haul today. So do you not save and reuse baby items? So again, my answer was to a point. Many things are used through two kiddos or so. And if someone comes in my path who needs baby things, I will pass them on to them instead of storing them in totes for several years longer. My last go round, once Benjamin got to be a year old, you all can say this with me, right? Our local pregnancy center was very low on baby boy donations. I donated all the baby things minus a few special pieces from my seventh and eighth boy babies to those mamas who needed them at the moment. Otherwise, I would have held on to them for three years or more. So again, save your baby stuff. No problem. No judgment. Save it. Hold on to it. Use it for several babies. Also, if you see some mamas who need some stuff, and you don't want to store it for a few more years, 
it's okay to let it go and pass it on bless another mama at that time and you know get some more stuff as you go i remember after our baby number two after zion yet again there was a mom who lived in our apartment building. She was a single mom. She was getting ready to have her first baby. I was storing all kinds of baby equipment, like swings and pack and plays and all kinds of boy clothes from two boys. And I didn't have another boy baby at that moment. Zion was about a year. And so I just had her come down and I was like, take what you need, mama. It's fine with me. So blessing to me to get it out of my space, tiny apartment, blessing to that mama because she got a lot of her baby stuff that day in my apartment and then again with naomi i'm trying to think yeah again because of the six years in between girls there was another mom that i knew from church that was getting ready to have her first girl and so besides a few special things that we did hold on to we just passed it on so there you go that's my long-winded traditional jay morrell answer let's look at this baby stuff let's go behind me i have fresh pack and play car seat a swing a jumper i'll show you those things giving you an overview of the table it's like where do we even begin also for let's just all the disclaimers but again like i know you you know me the chicken sisters know us all they're judging us right now i can just hear certain questions and that's again totally fine like let me answer you while i'm here and i have a voice and i'm not just typing in the comments right i did not bring all this up i did not organize it i did not haul the boxes up i have strong helpful family members and i was like you know what today is saturday I'm gonna get some stuff done. I'm gonna have you haul everything up. Let's get it organized. I'm gonna film it and then you can help me put it all away. So there you go, teamwork making the dream work. We'll just start here. Baby diaper caddy. And so I will open this up for you. I like to have something like this on the pack and play. Of course, it's not gonna cooperate and totally hold its shape for us, but I will put, you know, tons of little newborn diapers, wipes, powder, burp cloths, just kind of grab and go things that will sit up on the changing table. Oh, there you go. This is going to help us help us hold our shape. I had one mom say to me, she just didn't have the energy to go out and shop. I have gotten very few of these things out shopping. There are a few things I got at Costco, but a few things of these have been sent to me by viewers. Thank you. Most of this stuff I've ordered on Amazon over the Christmas holidays there. I just had several times. I was laying on the couch resting or watching a movie, and I was like, okay, let's go through. I know I did some Black Friday stuff on things, or was it Cyber Monday? One of those. I've just slowly been adding, and things have come to our door. So, yay. But here is the exact brand and company information, and this I did order on Amazon. So there we go. We've got outside pockets all the way around. Hey, you fulfilled your destiny. You look pretty nice there, Caddy. This will just get tons of use. Then one little pack of baby mittens. And looking at this, if this is the only mittens that I have, I will probably get one more pack. Also, and I'm thinking, didn't I get more passies than this? Now I exclusively breastfeed all of my children until they naturally wean, but I use pacifiers, especially if we are in the car. Pacifiers have never caused us any trouble, any nipple confusion. I don't want my baby upset and screaming and confused in the car. And even though we don't have to drive an hour or over an hour each way to most things these days, 20 minutes in the car, it's sad. And I remember back when Jaden was a baby, that's my adult son now, I wasn't gonna use a pacifier with him until like the second or third car ride. I was like, okay, we have to do something. This is so sad. So anyway little pacifiers for that. I have a good collection of Moby Wraps and Ergo Baby Carriers. Those are just the brands I have used. This time I was just looking at more. I don't really need any more Moby Wraps. Don't need any more Ergo Baby Carriers. Doesn't mean I still won't get one, but I thought I would get some ring slings. I've had some at different times, but it's been a while so this one looked pretty that's the brand it's off of amazon it's a pretty rainbow pattern the actual rings are supposed to be in here yeah it's called rainbow honeycomb anyway this was on amazon and i think i got this for a cyber monday thing don't remember the cost and this is another one i got on the same sale it was like oh 
I want some ring slings to add to my collection this go round. Let me show you what's in here now. I always like those neutral colors. So it's almost like the muslin cloth fabric. This is the brand name. This is what was on sale Cyber Monday. Got a little book with it, different directions there. I can do the Moby wraps in my sleep. I got that down. Looks pretty easy though. This is a little dinosaur wrap with a little cute dinosaur hat. And this was that same Cyber Monday order. It's just like a little, a little sleeper wrap with a little precious hat. And since everyone in our house is dinosaur experts, I wanted to keep the dinosaur thing going. And then my absolute favorite blankets, which I'm thinking I need to get more of these. Do I not have any receiving blankets? I'm not convinced that I don't. I need fresh blankets this time. I'll put in an order maybe while you all are sitting here. I like the, the different thicker receiving blankets and then I love these still, the muslin cloth. This is a swaddle. Anyway, oh and this four pack, it was like a, a $14 deal for four blankets a friend of mine shared on Facebook. So I clicked through and got it, but see we've got some owls. And I do all kinds of things with these. I'll use it as a nursing cover. I'll swaddle the baby in it. I'll clean up spit <laughs> and other things. I like to have like 20 blankets or so. And again, all of mine were donated last time. So if I truly only have four, I try to hold myself back though, because I don't want to end up with 50. If I go through everything and this is all I have, then I will definitely just pick up a couple more packs. That's all. Okay, we got bunnies. We got, looks like little fawns. Happy little bluebirds. You know, the lights coming in from the doors. Just nice, nice stuff here. And so many of these I will roll up and then I will keep, we'll just, we'll work on getting my diaper caddy ready too, right? I will roll up and I will keep a couple like in the sides of the diaper caddy, ready to go. I do have some packs of the newborn diapers. This is a fox one or something else with an orange tail. Very cute and orange, cute. Yes, I feel like I need to do like a flag event with these, right? <laughs> flag signals. I just usually end up with a basket near the pack and play with all the blankets. And I will pack a little bag for the birthing center. I don't think I did that with Benjamin last time as far as a video, but I'll probably do a little video for you guys where I show you what's in my birthing center bag. Oh, and more dinos. See, these blankets were listening. Okay, yes, flag signals again. <laughs> While I have my lighting working, let me show you one of my viewers, Lisa, made this precious farm quilt. And I'm super slow about getting mail, getting it opened. I feel like with the volume of mail that comes in, we open everything, we read every card. Someone else, another Lisa just sent, you know, tons, I'm looking around seeing things that you viewers have sent us. It's wonderful, tons of crayons and she sent like each kid a bag with individual books for them. And that hit perfect because I opened it during the last snow that we had. Once kids were done in the snow, they were back inside with going through all those bags and sticker books and just saying, thank you. This is my thank you to all of you who have sent us wonderful, wonderful treats and goodies and special things like these handmade quilts, which I'm gonna hold this up and show it to you. I'm super slow on getting to my mailbox and getting my mail. Mm -hmm. It's not right next door to me. Then it takes me a while to open it. And then I, every time I open, I'm like, we need to do thank you cards. So this, I'm saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. One day, maybe that's gonna be the 11th person on the team. But anyway, don't know what else to say other than thank you to all of you who've ever sent us anything. Look at what Lisa, it's a precious, like you won't see me for a minute here. 
We got some, some kitties and some cows and some sheep and a barn. And I'm just picturing laying Tobin out in the sunshine, in the shade, with him squirming around on this. It's a real precious thing. So I wanted to show that to you all. We got, look, little cow, just all the great farm things. So when I go into Walmart, I will pick up little things. This was a little blanket I had picked up early on in the beginning last summer, I guess it would be, right? When I found out I was pregnant with him officially. And I picked up a few basic things. So this is just a little space cover. Okay, so I gave up. And now I'm also making tea. And this video has already taken me several hours. Lots of little rest breaks. There's a lot going on here. Hold on, let's pour the tea. Okay, then I'll tell you about pregnancy teas. That's just gonna have to sit and percolate a little bit there. So, I'm also gonna cram into this video, besides all the stuff I got for my ninth baby, other stuff I've got for me. In YouTube world, this should be a couple different videos, but this is what you get, right? Because I'm doing it. I drink red leaf raspberry tea. I'm gonna quickly talk about your mileage may vary. Talk to your midwife, your healthcare provider, do your own research, yada, yada. Red leaf raspberry tea is good for cramps and for the uterus in general, okay? Also very good during pregnancy for many mamas. Maybe for you, maybe not. But if you go to get this, don't just get raspberry tea. You want the leaf, okay. Another one, this is Earth Mama Organics. I'm 99.9% .9 sure the ingredients in here are the same as what at my midwifery center they refer to as a Nora tea. So you can Google Nora tea. Also again, talk to your midwife, yada yada. A lot of mamas I know make this as a loose leaf tea with all the ingredients. Again, at my center, they send home a baggie for every mom and you can make your own. I need a little more help than that, okay? I, I, don't, I don't want to do one more thing. So this is in the bag, this is the bag form. So if they're telling you to drink a Nora tea or third trimester tea, and I got some jokes last time I shared the tea about, oh yeah, third trimester, it'll just help you go to the bathroom more. It's got some good things in it. It also has the red leaf raspberry. It's got the nettle which is good, oat straw, spearmint, rose hips, alfalfa, things that are good, okay? It comes in a little packet, so I don't drink a couple cups of tea in a day. I might get one in, so I usually do two packets. It says, yay for your uterus. It starts off the size of your fist, and look what it is now, ha ha. So it's supposed to help with occasional leg cramps and other unique needs of the third trimester. What I had read about the Nora tea in particular is it can also help with like iron absorption and such. And when I had, I shared with you guys one of the little things I've done this pregnancy is I had a couple months where I was having quite a few nosebleeds and so my midwife was telling me about the Nora tea and it can just help as far as just when you're extra vascular. So, I also have some other things that I have ordered that I'm gonna get out of my bathroom for you. So here's how a little diaper bag is coming about. This is a pack of Child of Mine pants, zero to three months. We got the gray, we got the stripe. Also, you mamas who are getting ready to have your first baby, or those of you who've had a lot of babies. Okay, first baby mama, no. You need multiple outfit changes every day mamas who've had a couple or at least one you know you need a couple of fit changes every day so i think i'm good for zero to three months could be wrong again starting on the three to six month collection now and many of you may have seen this this summer when i knew i was pregnant we didn't know the gender yet and walmart started to have their mark down on seasonal clothes i got some boy stuff and some girl stuff found another upcoming girl mama to give the girl stuff too. But anyway, this was just, and this is in the three to six month stack, so he'll be wearing this this summer. Cute little overalls with the red hat. This, I'm pretty sure, came from someone who sent that to me. I'll show you that in a minute. These are my favorite in the summer, boys and girls, all these just little rompers and stuff. Oh, they're just, they're lovely. Then at Costco, this winter, this is nine month stuff. So I was thinking like for later in the fall, we've got a onesie and a pair of pants. 
And then we've got a little football long sleeve onesie and a pair of pants. I mean, he's going to be that big before we know it. Also at Costco this winter, they just got me good. I was just thinking of all the upcoming fall stuff. I love them. Aren't they just wonderful? I keep wanting to say, aren't they delicious? They have little hoodies on them. Just cute boy stuff. Another one with dinosaurs on it. Perfect. I picked up just a pack of bibs with breastfeeding, with a little spit up here and there, all of that. I need bibs, so we have that. Now these, I think a viewer did send, and these are burp cloths. So again, I will take one of these, have it over my shoulder, have the baby, have the baby possibly wrapped in this, walk around like that, right? So I have four of these, so I feel like I should make a little list on my phone of few more things that I could get. And then cute little toy-wise. Coincidentally, not Lisa, same lady who sent us a lot of books and Crayola things. We've got some little, little cute baby toys. This is another one, I'm pretty sure, that was sent to us. Precious. You know, the kids will suck on the ears and stuff. This is one I got, but Benjamin already helped me open it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got several packs of onesies here these are three to six months so again with these i mean in the summer when i have babies in the summer they live in onesies in a little diaper again three to six months so we've got daddy's little one we got a cute little elephant saying hello we've got just a little lions and elephant one another three to six months so let's see if he's born March, we got April, May, June, so this would be like end of June, July, August. And then that one, oh yeah, Mommy's Cute Asaurus, lovely. Another three to six months. Puppies, look, little flappy ears, how cute. I'm picturing chubby legs, right? Cute little pocket. And this one just says, so loved, hug me, so loved, over and over again. So that's the three to six month pile. So with Tobin being born in March. It's not summer yet in Virginia, although we do have the crazy, you know, four seasons in one week time. Got him some of these cute, these are little dinosaurs. These are zero to three, zero to three. He will not be in his first week, but very soon. And then this one, little fox, another zero to three. It also has a cute little hedgehog on there. A big old pile of things here. Cute, another zero to three pack. And so when it's chilly out, I'm usually doing a onesie underneath one of these outfits. And again, if you're a new mama needing cliff notes, that's because diapers explode, things leak, stuff happens. I like having them layered. It just works in my mind. Got a onesie. This one, really cute, zero to three months. It's been taken off and kids have looked at it, but cute little romper with a onesie. Another zero to three months, his little brother has the bears on it. This is my big zero to three month stack. Dinosaurs, little pants. Another one, little brother, little pants. And then more of that romper sale zero to three those are only four dollars that one has a cute little hoodie cutie so that these are some warmer things for zero to three this is the outfit benjamin talks about we're going to bring tobin home in so it's this cute little dinosaur outfit looks like maybe some stegosaurus like fellas on the feet and then another cute zero to three months with the dinosaurs. Care Of is a wellness brand that makes it easy for you to maintain your health goals with a customized vitamin plan that helps you feel your best today and supports you long-term. Careof.com offers high quality products, a whole bunch of them, but they are personalized. Your daily recommendations come in these super convenient individually wrapped packages. See mine even have my name on there and it helps you get in your daily routine. 
You get quick and reliable results with Care Of's easy, it takes like five minutes, online quiz. Remember that small changes are impactful and important, like adding a daily vitamin to help support you with your fitness goals, your sleep goals, a daily vitamin to help support your energy, whether these goals be short or long term. I really want to focus on my urinary tract health and pregnancy support, so my pack includes cranberry and a prenatal. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter special promo code JMRL50. Remember, when you go to takecareof.com, and of course you can enter your promo code to do the five minute quiz to get your personalized recommendations. See in here, I've got my personalized vitamin recommendations and they base that again on what's going on with you, what's going on in your life. They're gonna send it in this nice dispenser. So every day you just pull it out and take your vitamins that way. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll get through a whole cup of tea during this video. It'll be good. Good times. Look, look jump back into things. It's got the little dinosaur spikes there. Just cute. Those are the dinosaur theme. And then I got one pack of just little uh, plain onesies. And I'm pretty sure all of these came from a package the other day. So thank you, thank you. We got some six months, some three months. Milk, naps, cuddles, repeat. Mm-hmm, that's how it's gonna go. Chill mode, uh-huh, yes. Little and loved. Again, three month collection. This is a cute little, cute little outfit. Look at the little shorts, little shorts, little shirt helicopter. You know, going to church, right? I have the best dad ever, little Nemo, right? We know who Nemo is. Gotta teach kids this. Three months, another little cute summer suit. Yes, mom's coffee date. This looks smaller, but it says three months. Mom's coffee date, very cute. My hanger broke, and I don't use hangers. This is just how these came, but another three month with Mickey, yay. So, some more clothes. I feel like that's a decent amount of onesies for the summer. So I'll see. I'm gonna get some more receiving blankets. We determined that that's needed. I think I'm good on zero to three months to get started. So I think I'm just gonna have the baby, yeah, with additional receiving blankets, and then we will see as we come to summer, I'll just see what else I need, and then hello Walmart, right? can always add to it. Don't have to start out with absolutely everything ever. Oh, and another thing I don't do, I don't worry with socks. I absolutely, especially for these younger ages. Let's see, I'm gonna put my three to six month stuff in one pile. I'm gonna throw my passies at least in this pack here. I wanted to show you all some mom stuff for birth. Got mittens. I don't think we're gonna set up the pack and play today, but here in the next few weeks, we will set it up. So I'll keep my three to six months stuff in a pile, and I will keep my brand new stuff with me. Oh, and here's another little one of those. This is a newborn size.
Okay, so this is, so this is my pile of zero to three months, which we'll be needing this here soon. Slight organizing. Wanted to show you, I've mentioned in a recent like pregnancy, pregnant with baby number nine, pregnant at 41. These are things that does not matter any age, but in a video I did recently of some products that I get just for my own postpartum care. So again, talk to your midwife, talk to your healthcare professional. Thermoplast, this is what they give at my hospital. I don't always use this, but they give it and so I bought it. Tux cooling pads that has witch hazel on it and all of this is from Amazon. This is a Perry bottle. And so this is for after I have the baby, it says for postpartum care. So at the hospital, what we used to do and teach, yada, yada. So something to look into is wa mostly water, a little bit of witch hazel, and you squirt this. These are, I got these from Amazon, real big liners and pads. They open up large. And then I also have a box of padsicles that I ordered that are good. And those are actually downstairs. I need to bring those up. But those are some other things that I ordered. And now I will walk the camera over to show you my bigger items. Okay, so here we go. Ordered a car seat. This is for 5 to 22 pounds. Came to my door. Amazon. Easy. And actually, you know what I did? Nope, this wasn't Amazon. This was Walmart grocery pickup order. I'm pretty sure. Yep. So there you go. Just a basic little starter car seat for us. And then I got you know, some pregnancies. I use them more than others. For Benjamin, I had a real big swing that took up a lot of room. For some babies, I've had smaller swings like this. Just sometimes we only use them, you know, just for a very short period of time. So I didn't know how committed I wanted to be on the swing. It seemed like Benjamin just used it, you know, a little bit here and there, and it just wasn't worth all the space that the swing took up. Anyway, so this is a little collapsible travel model, which will be good for when we go to the beach or do whatever. One thing is it's battery required. Whenever you go to get a swing, if you can also get a swing that you just plug in so you don't have to fool with batteries, very, very nice. I thought this would be good to have. If I end up getting another one, hey, we'll have a backup. Okay, so these are the kind of pack and plays that I like to get. It's got like a little baby lay down area here. It's got a changing table. And then it's got the floor of the pack and play that can be up on a higher level. And of course you can bring it on down. I don't always use this little extra area. Most of the time though, those come in and out and you can use them other areas in your home. But I do use the changing table and it's got the little supply holder on the side. And so this is all I will need. And this is the Bright Start Spinning Safari Bounce Around. So it looks like lots of, lots of noisy action going on there. All right guys, so a couple hours later, we've been doing other things. But I thought we would go through now and look for a few more things I thought that I needed, right? So there is an eight pack of Gerber baby onesies. Looks like they got some different colors, 1598. Let's see if we got any cute ones. Yes, yeah, we want cute, cute things. Oh no, those are cute. There's a five pack. Okay. I think I'm going to go investigate this five pack a little further. Oh, they have some different ones here. Very cute. Let's see here. We want them in the zero to three month size. Okay. Cute. Okay, I'm liking this set a lot. Yeah, see, newborn, five to eight pounds, zero to three months, eight to 12. So I say my babies are eight to 10 pounds usually. Okay. So I think we're gonna get this. And then I think I said 
receiving blankets. So I just got one more pack of these. That should be good. These are the flannel receiving blankets that I usually have a good collection of as well. So let me just look here. Looks like anywhere from 11 to $15 for a pack of seven. Oh yeah, we're gonna get some more of those too. Let's let's try to face, stay focused here, Jim Rose. So, Simple Joys by Carter. That should be good. Oh, got a little dinosaur. Yeah, just a little bit of everything. Let me see what the other one is. Also very cute. Okay, because I go through so many blankets. I mean, we'll we'll go through. I don't know two to six blankets a day, depending on what adventures await us. I'm gonna get two packs of these flannels because I don't have any, and that'll give me 10. Okay, now I just noticed something too. This is telling me I purchased a set of these on November 27th, so worst case scenario, I'm gonna find those and I'm gonna end up with 15 flannel blankets instead of 10, and that will be okay. All right, so some different ones here it's a three pack for 19 oh that's cute that's a toddler blanket cute stack so that looks like a set of four for 23 set of three for 13 oh dinosaur one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cute another four pack Now this is, this is complicated. Okay, I'm going to make myself click this one. Okay, so I'm gonna add those. I have four, the four pack, Maybe it was six of burp cloths. I don't always use the separate little burp cloths. I use the flannel receiving blankets and the muslin wraps and everything, but I'm gonna add four more to it and I'm gonna go through that Amazon cart now and put in the last little baby things that I can think of at this time order in. Also, thank you again to Care Of for sponsoring today's video. Go to TakeCareOf.com and enter promo code JMorel50 for 50% off your first order. And I will see you very soon, I think, with another brand new video. We are going slow here. I'm out of pajamas for like the second time in seven days and I'm resting and the feet are up and just getting a little video stuff in today. So I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.